folks, and welcome to this episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. I'm going to build something that I've been needing for a little while. I want to be able to test some of these smaller outboards and be able to run them for a little while and just see what kind of, what they what they can handle under a load and under, you know, not just running muffs on it. Muffs don't tell the whole story. Uh, being able to bury that prop in some water and give it some throttle and see what it's got, see if it's got the, the snap it's supposed to have and all that fun stuff is something that you can't do with just the muffs for the coolant on it. So what I'm going to do is this. I have obtained a blue barrel. You'll see these on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. People are always getting rid of these old plastic barrels like this, and they're heavy duty. They're really sturdy uh, items. I think I'm going to take advantage of this sturdiness and the size of it to make me a boat testing, boat motor testing, uh, water trough type thing. And I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to cut this thing so I leave this lip. This is very sturdy up here at the top. I think I want to cut out the inside here and then mount me a board on here with a vertical board so I can set this thing up there nice and sturdy and have something rigid. So I'm going to get started on doing some cutting. First I'm going to clean the debris off the top so I won't throw all this dirt in my face. And then I'm going to start carving it out. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what I did here. What I did from the edge of the barrel here, top edge, to the inside plastic, I left three inches. As you can see, I don't have the blower end on this motor yet, but as you can see where it's going to hang down well into the water. And nice thing is I'll have to fill this up fairly full, so there'll be a lot of cool water here to keep the motor cool. And it's going to also create a lot of weight and a lot of ballast to make this thing very stable. Right now it could be pretty easily top heavy, but. So once I got this board cut, I notched it out here and here so it fit down against this part. And then I took four, oh, they're probably three inch wood screws from the inside here, from the inside up into this board. And then as you can see here, I got four three inch wood screws going back into this board and this board is just coming back and it's resting on this lip here to give it some added strength so when the weight of the motor is here trying to tip it or when i'm throttling it and it's trying to tip this thing it's got the strength of the plastic in this board here to keep it from doing that like I, there was just a it was an easy little project to do you can pick these up barrels up from anywhere from five dollars to fifteen dollars depending on where you get it it won't rust out and if this wood happens to deteriorate over time, this is just some wood I had laying around. And if it happens to deteriorate over time, I'll just unscrew it and put another one on it because this plastic is fine. And you wonder why this board is so tall here. Let's see if I can get the glance on the inside here at this angle. Yeah, you can see that. As, as you can see, this comes down quite a ways. Now this is just a 15 horse. If I had a 25 horse in here, I'm not sure if it would fit, but Primarily what I've got to work on right now is this 15 horse. I'm picking up another, uh, what was it, uh, four horse mercury long shaft that I'm going to be tinkering with next. So I can be able to test both of these uh, if I would like. And the other nice thing is I can fill this up inside. What I'll eventually do is put me a spigot on the bottom. Then I can run a hose and, and run it outside to drain it whenever I need to drain it. And then it just sits out in the shed when I don't need it. So... And what, the other thing you want to do before you start running anything in here is you want to make sure all this plastic and all the loose debris that's inside is cleaned out. You don't want to suck that up into your pump and into your motor. You might still do that out in the lake, but why, why run the risk of doing it while you're trying to test run the motor? But that's a, I'm pretty pleased with how that turned out. That was a quick, short uh, video, I know, but it, uh, it's going to do the trick. And I'm not going to post this video till I can actually see a motor running in it and test it out and see what it actually does and how it acts. Because it may not, it may not work. If it doesn't work, I'll have to change things because it's no good if it doesn't work. So we'll take it from there and we'll make some modifications and I'll show you those modifications when those happen. Okay, what I have since learned since I put this together 
is that the transoms on the back of the boats are at, a, at, a, at an angle. This is straight up and down, which kicked the motor out too far. Wouldn't give me enough room in here to, to operate it properly. So what I'm gonna do is I measured the back of this boat, particular boat, it's around 15, it's about 13, but I'm gonna go ahead and go 15 degrees. I'm gonna kick this thing, cut an angle on this bottom here. So this part here will, will go this way, 15 degrees. So all I gotta do is pull four screws out of here and then I'll get on my table saw and I'll do some uh, correction there. what I did here. So what I did is I put a, a, a 15 degree angle on the bottom of this board so it would lean back. But then I wanted to shorten these boards up because it was, I had to cut them also because as it tilted back I had to cut an angle, the same 15 degree angle followed out here. But then I wanted it to also still catch on this lip. So I did a seven degree angle on this face so these boards here, you can see would kick out a little bit and catch this lip. Which that's gonna give a support and I got four wood screws through the bottom here, through the plastic into this stuff. This plastic barrel is very tough, but as you can see, I can put all my weight on it and it supports it without any problem. So it should support the torque when I rev the motor up. I think we're ready to see how the motor fits in it now or, or if, if it'll fit. Well, by golly, that was just enough to make it fit. And as you can see with the hydrofoil in here, it just does clear. Without the hydrofoil, it would have no problem clearing but that takes up a little bit of space. But I think we're ready to start it up now. Well, this is gonna be the first couple of pulls. The water's still running. It's up high enough now. I got the choke pulled and I got the primer bulb pumped. Let's see if it'll even fire. see the barrel worked quite well uh, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it I'll be able to run several more motors in there no problem uh, yeah the water's getting a little oily for sure but uh, nice thing is I'm gonna put it I think think the one thing I still want to do is put a spigot in the bottom so I can drain it easily but uh, right now that works pretty slick I ran this motor in this barrel for oh geez I bet a combined total time of well over an hour of, of run time just to get it tuned up and running good and just to see how it was going to run and, and run for a long period of time. And, and I'm pleased. The barrel did exactly what I expected it to do. It contained, you know, a lot of water. Now, when I revved it wide open, you could splash some out. But my gosh, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of power there in a little barrel. Uh, but it did the job. So I only filled it up once and I was able to run it a long time. The water stays cold. 
uh, the plastic, I don't know, it just stays cold. And the water coming out of the, it kept the coolant coming out of the head. It felt good. It felt like it was, sh it should, excuse me, like it should. So I'm thrilled. I'm tickled. Uh, it was a fun little project. Simple, cheap, uh, yet yeah, very effective. Very effective. Uh, that motor there, I think, weighs around 80 pounds. And it's hanging an 80 pound motor. And then I torqued it. I took it to wide open a couple times. So that's a lot of torque. And it, and it took it. It seemed to, it took it without even, without blinking an eye. So, so if that helps somebody else build, somebody else build one that, uh, now, cause the nice thing about it, if the wood ever rots, I'll just unscrew the wood and make some more pieces to put on it. The barrel is going to last forever. It's plastic. It's not going anywhere. So, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed, hope you found it helpful and maybe you can do one for yourself at some point in time. Uh, if you're doing a lot of testing of outboards or playing around with outboard motors, it's a real handy little deal to have. The other thing it does is when it's full of water, it's got a lot of ballast. I don't even, I can just pull the cord without putting my hand on the motor. It's like it's on a boat. Uh, it's pretty darn solid. I was impressed with how solid it is actually. So get out there and do something fun, folks. Be creative, make something new that, did, that didn't exist before and then use it just like I did with that barrel. So this is Michael saying, get out there, get living, have some fun. Michael out.